Okay, hello. Um, this stream is probably going to be taken down by YouTube, to be honest with you. So, it's honestly probably not going to even be on YouTube. So, whoever's watching it live, uh, you're going to watch it live. Um, but anyways, we're building set number 60231, uh, the Fire Chief Response Truck. Uh, I got this yesterday at Walmart. Actually, my grandma got me it, um... So, thank you, but... <sighs> gotta get these guys out of the way. I got these at Kohl's a couple of days ago. But... Yeah. Uh, cleaned off my desk yesterday because I wanted to do this live with you guys. And I want to make some better reviews. Um, and not have a lot of things in the way. So, yeah. This is a $30 set with punch tabs. Which sucks. Um, but, I mean, I don't really care about my boxes. I either flatten them... Or I throw them out. It's one of those two. So. Yeah, so we got one instruction manual. Two instruction manuals. Um, and then a sticker sheet. Alright. So we got two bags. Um, and two instruction manuals. I don't know why they did that. It's only like 200 some parts. Um... But I'm going to split this live stream in two, I think. I think we're going to do um, bag one on this live stream and then bag two later. And by later, I probably mean after I go eat. Because I'm getting pretty hungry. Um, but yeah. So, bag one. Here. YouTube's been, uh, taking down my streams, um, and my streams just haven't been working lately, so, basically, the only way you can view this is if you're here right now, you can't, uh, cause YouTube will delete it if it tries to upload this stream, um, which sucks, so, yeah, so, if you're live, you're live, it's the only way you're gonna see me be able to build this, but, Get these guys out of here. Um, also, by the way, get you guys off my stand. I am selling this set right here. So if anyone is interested, um, uh, message me um, if you want to buy it. I'm willing to accept offers. Um, but I everything is sealed. I just opened the, um, the stickers. Um I opened the stickers because I thought I was gonna build it, but I'm not. So that thing is for sale. If it ends, if, if it's if it's not going, if I don't sell it by the end of the month, I'm probably just gonna build it. Uh, so yeah, so that's it for that. Um, but let's start off here with uh, bag one, which is the minifigures. I might, uh, be quiet for this stream, because I, I be, I don't talk when I build most of the time. If I do, it's when I'm ta I'm building with my mom, or someone is next to me while I'm building. That's when I usually talk. Um, but yeah. So we got our first minifigure, which is the firefighter. So yeah. Uh, I have, it's only the, um, what, did, what is the day today? I don't know, my calendar's still on April, uh, but we're only like two weeks into the month or something. Oh, I gave him the long le long, wrong legs, uh, but we're only two months, um, we're only two, I, keep, I can't speak, I'm sorry. We're only two weeks into the month, and I've already spent $150. Which, I do have a spending problem. I, I have a big spending problem when it comes to Lego. So, um, I'm going on a break. Uh, for this week, I can't buy anything. Um, and it's honestly something I need. So, I can stop buying and start selling stuff. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm thinking of opening a Bricklink store. Ooh, that's a nice exclusive mug. Uh, but I'm thinking of starting a Bricklink store. Um, and selling some of my old parts, well, some, not old parts, but some of my extra parts, uh, that I get from Lego sets, and, um, that could give me some money, and then I wanna, uh, how do I put it, 
I want to, I want to become a reseller, but I don't want to exactly become a reseller. What I mean by that is, it's July, it's clearance season. I want to try to get as many clearance deals I can get and uh, sell them. Um, like, for instance, the, um, the Disney series, too many figures at my Walmart are on sale for three forty four. I was thinking of getting like 10 of those and selling them for like four each on Mercari or something and making a little investment there. Um, but I don't know if I should do that. Tell me if I should. Um, cause I'm definitely taking, I'm definitely in the mindset of doing that. Like when I got the Rex's Rexplorer for 25, uh, my target had, uh, well, the target I went to, they had four. And now they have three left. So, I'm thinking if I should buy those three for $25 each. Of oh, they're still in stock, of course. Um, but they probably are still in stock because even though, um, even though they're only $25, which is 80% off, uh, all four of them were in the back of the store. So, the only way you would get it is if you um, ask them to go in the back and go get it. So they're probably still there, um, but I was looking on Mercari, and people are struggling to sell the Rex's Rex Explorer. Like, I don't know, some guy's selling it for like fifty six, brand new in box, and it's not selling very well. Um, that's not the profit I want to make. I wanna, if I were to buy all of those three, I want to make at least seventy dollars each um, from each one. So I'd have to list them for like eighty bucks. Which I doubt anyone would want to buy them for 80 bucks. Uh, um, so I might take the risk to buy one and put it on Mercari for 80. If that doesn't work, put it up on uh, eBay for 80. If that doesn't work, um, put it up on put it up on Bricklink. I, I'm struggling to put this door on, but yeah, uh, definitely thinking about reselling stuff and yeah it could become an, a big investment for the channel and me um but yeah so where is this piece of so this is the little generator build i kind of like this because um there's a couple of generators outside of my house um so it, it's an everyday thing i see when i go out so yeah so now we're on to the truck uh, this was twenty four dollars. Um, uh, the reason I bought this, well, my grandma bought it for me. But the reason I I wanted to get it is because if you guys don't know, I'm starting a Lego City, and I have a couple of buildings in there, and uh, I don't, I want to get some vehicles for there. Even though I don't have a road set up yet, I just have studs because I just got a huge forty eight by forty eight, but. I want to, um, I want to get some, some, oh, I need a lot of black tiles, so, like, a lot of these, if I want to make that ro road, but, um, I want to get some vehicles, I have a couple of buildings, um, I have, I have the toy shop, the pet shop, and cafe, uh, the, that Lego store that they released in 2018, I have that one. It's missing a bunch of parts, uh, but it, the building is complete. The interior is missing some stuff, and then the windows is missing some stuff. Um, what else do I have? I think those are all the buildings I got, and then my custom building that I got pieces from Bricklink for, which, um, I actually want to make that, um... I want to get a lot of more pieces like that because I want to make that a kind of um, an apartment and just order the exact same pieces just in different colors and just like stack them on top of each other. I, I think that'd be pretty nice to do. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool to do that. <laughs> but yeah, that's just something I've been thinking about and I can't find this piece. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. You know, the feeling when you're looking for a part, and you search for a couple of seconds, and you find it, and you're just like, yes. that I love that feeling so much. It happened to me a lot when I was building the Rex Celsius, 
not Rex Celsius, but the Rex Explorer, because everything in that set is blue and green. Literally, almost all the parts in that set are blue and green. And I was pretty struggling trying to find uh, the correct parts um, for it. Um, I don't know what was struggle, how much of a struggle it would be for to build Yoda because it's it's only tan and green. That must be a pain to build that. Um, Yoda's a set I want to get at some point. I just don't have the room for it. Um, and again, I don't really collect display things. But again, I got the Stranger Things set um, last month. Ooh, jeez. Uh, but that's pretty much a display thing. But I mean, with that, you can actually play with it. With Yoda, you can only move his eyes and his arms. I don't even think you can move his arms because he's brick built. Then, uh... I don't have any of the helmets. I do want to get the Boba Fett one at some point. Uh, but $60 to me for a display piece that is just going to sit on a shelf or on my desk. Because now I have room. Uh, I'm not into that kind of stuff. Um, I really wanted to get the Dio. I was really excited for the Dio. But from everything I've seen, it's so small. Dio is so small. For $70, it's just not worth it, to be honest with you. Um, I don't have the room for Dio either. So, I don't know if I should get it or not. Um, speaking of May the 4th, um, so that was... I ordered for May the 4th the Tantive 4. And it was on back order when I ordered it, right? So, um, it said it was going to ship in 60 days. 70 days later... Still not shipped. So, um, yesterday I called Lego, um, their customer service at least, uh, and they canceled my order and they gave me some VIP points because, um, because it came so late. And they sent me, so they gave me $20 worth of VIP points. Um, and they gave me another Creator 12 in 1 for free, which I thought was super nice of them. So, yeah, that should be coming in the mail. That's going to be in the big haul video. I'd, I've decided to make haul videos a monthly thing. So, just make a huge video at the end of the month with everything I've bought that month. If I decide to record me uh, getting it or opening it or whatever it is. Um, so, yeah, that will be in there. Um, but because they canceled it... Um, I'm going to the Lego store, I think, because I can't buy anything this week because I have a spending problem. Next week, um, I'm going to the Lego store, and I'm going to get the Tanta for there and get another 12-in-1 promo because I wanted to get it. Um, it's going to retire because it's a D2C set, and those usually retire soon. Those don't, they don't have the same shelf uh, life as normal Lego sets, um, and it's a, it's I love the Tanta Four. It's the first ever ship you get to see in Star Wars. Like literally, it's the first thing you see in Star Wars. Um, and I I really want that Bail Organa figure, uh, for my Rebels, and I want the ship for my Rebels. <laughs> so yeah, um, hopefully they have that in stock. If not, then I've been looking. Ooh, that fell. Um, I think that's an extra piece, though. Well, I'll do that later. I'll go get that later. Um, but if not, I've been looking at, uh, Pirates of Barracuda Bay. That is a pretty solid set. Um, it's a pretty solid set. I, that's all I have to say about it. The box art is nice. Um, it reminds me of the Pirates 2015 line, which I have some sets of. Uh, and it just, it looks really nice, to be honest with you. I've watched, I, wa I really watched some reviews. I watched, um, Just Two Goods and M&R Productions. And it, it made me want the set even more. Um, I've also been eyeing up the, um, the Jurassic Park, uh, gate. That is an expensive set. All the sets I want are so expensive. The Tanta for $200. Uh, the, um, the Parts of Barracuda Bay, $200. Uh, the gate from Jurassic Park, $250, like, it's so expensive, I don't have this money, um, well, I mean, I do, but I don't want to waste it, I want to save my money, um, and not just spend it all on a whim, uh, like some people do, <coughs> sorry, but, yeah, 
Um, I rewatched uh, I rewatched Jurassic World, um, a couple of days ago, and um, it got me back into the sets. It got me back into the sets, so I bought um, the the um, Triceratops Rampage set, which I actually reviewed this morning. The video is up on my channel. Uh, little plug there. Um, but yeah, I reviewed it this morning. It's on my channel. So if you guys want to see my review on that, go ahead um, and watch it. Uh, but placing those stickers, stickers there. That is a crooked sticker, um, but I'm not going to fix that. Um, so that is bag one and instruction manual one. Uh, as you can see, here are all the other. Um, so here, these are um, the city sets that came out last year. So we got the fire and the space. Um Again, I don't collect city, so I don't have any of these sets. And, um, yeah. I've been eyeing up these two, though, uh, because this one um, is double VIP points on LEGO's website right now. And this one is on rollback for 56, and I feel like that's a nice thing to add to the city. Uh, so, yeah. But, anyways, before we get on to bed, I knocked them over again. Right before I started the stream, I knocked over my... Uh, my mystery minis, and I knocked them over again. But uh, let me find this thing. Okay, you know what? It's safe to say that I've lost the one by one translucent stud that fell off. Oh, we're just gonna say that. Um, but yeah, and like I said, guys, uh, this video, well, the stream is probably not gonna go to YouTube because it's probably gonna get deleted like all my other streams. Um, but just putting it out there. I'm selling this, so if you're interested, message me um, on YouTube, and I am selling that. Um, basically, I don't know why I'm selling that. I just don't really have the space for it. I bought it last month uh, at Kohl's, and I don't have the space for it, and yeah, I'm trying to sell that off. Uh, um, the goal is to get it sold by the end of the month, and if I don't get it, if I don't sell it by the end of the month... I am, um, so if I don't sell it by the end of the month, I'm repeating myself here, uh, I'm just gonna build it, um, and I guess I'll use it for something, I don't know, uh, but because I have such a big spending problem, I really need to start making, uh, start selling more things, so, um, I got it. I, I, of this, of this stream manages to stay up on YouTube, I will, um, put a link to my mercari store in the description if you guys are interested in anything i have so you guys can uh support me if you guys want to but i only have i don't have a lot of people that watch me um so if you guys want to support me though go ahead on my mercari that's the only place um right now um because i don't know how to s set up um i don't know how to set up what is it called i don't ha i don't know how to set up um members and also i doubt anyone that watches me would want to become a member um unless you guys want to um tell me please i want to know um and then i'll look into that um but i don't know how it works i don't know if you need a specific amount of subscribers to do it if you need a pc to do it um i was talking to ukulele kid on discord and uh I was, he, he was telling me how I can fix the stream problem, uh, and I, he said I need a PC, and the thing is, I don't have a PC, I don't have the, the, the PC I want, I don't have the money for, and so, um, it, it just really sucks, and, um, if I want my streams to be public on YouTube, I need to, uh, as soon as I end the stream, I have to go to YouTube Studios, on my phone as soon as this ends um and click not made for kids so the video is not deleted um and yeah and yesterday i was trying to live stream again uh because uh so basically if you guys don't know what happened i was i was live for a couple of minutes i was sorting through some um t through my dc um not dc um my Lego movie 2 cms and um I ended the stream because I finished, and uh, I went on YouTube Studios a couple of minutes later, and it said, um, I'm saying um a lot, I love saying um, <laughs> but uh, it said that it would the stream was taken down for inappropriate content, 
Um, and I know this happens to a lot of people. Um, Ukulele Kid told me that it happens to him as well. And I see that it happens to him sometimes when I get notifications late that he's streaming. And I go on to it, it says, uh, this video has been taken down for inappropriate content. Even though, um, we don't do anything inappropriate. We're just, he's either talking with some other Lego YouTubers um, on on uh, StreamYard or I am building or sorting something. And yeah, so it, I don't know what's going on. Uh, it sucks. It really does suck. And I want YouTube to fix that. Um, and I don't think they will fix that, which uh, makes makes me an angry. Um, I was going to say something else. Uh, but that would make a valid reason for YouTube to take down the stream if I said that. Um, but yeah, uh, I got another sticker here. But yeah, anyways, back onto Lego and stop ranting about YouTube and stuff. Uh, the NES was officially revealed today. Uh, the pictures came out yesterday um, when it was revealed. But it was officially revealed today, and I was going to make a video on it, um, but just to make a very solid point, if I showed the pictures, my channel would probably be deleted right now. So I did not um, uh, make a video on the pictures. To, quite frankly, I don't really care about this, the NES. Uh, I don't have an NES. I don't really care about Nintendo. Sorry if you hear beeping. Um, there's a tow truck outside my house. I don't know why. Um, but, I don't care about the NES, don't have an NES, don't care about N Nintendo, I don't have a Nintendo product besides a DS, which is my sister's, and that's from 2006, um, that's, like, the only Nintendo product I have, that's why I have zero interest for the Lego NES, or Lego Mario, and I know this is really stupid to say, um, and it's gonna make a bunch of people angry at me but i feel lego lego mario is expensive i get i get the fact that um it's it has batteries and how it can talk and it can make music and it can do all of this it's but for you get a couple of new parts um a battery inside a lego part Dressed up as Mario. I mean, for the licensing and everything, you have to include that. But I mean, it's, it's expensive. Um, so I don't want to pay sixty dollars for just the starter kit alone. The you have to pay sixty dollars to get Mario alone, unless you want to pay a hundred dollars to get Bowser's house. House, <laughs> Bowser's house, Bowser's castle, um, which is, I'd much rather do. Uh, I don't even know if Mario even comes in that set. I'm not quite sure. I haven't really researched Lego Mario, um, but I'd rather get Bowser's castle because um, Bowser is my favorite Nintendo uh, character. Uh, uh, the reason why is because um, back in 2013, I used to play Super Smash Bros. with my friend um, on his Wii. And I would always play as Bowser or Donkey Kong, and I just love playing as them. And Bowser became one of my favorite uh, Nintendo characters, and uh, I just love Bowser. He's such he's such a cool character. So if I were to uh, get like a Mario, it would be Bowser's Castle, because I remember playing on that map on Super Smash Bros. so much. Um, and yeah, so if I were to get like a Mario, it would be Lego Bowser's Castle. Um, and that's forking over a hundred bucks for something I don't care too much about. I'd rather get, I'd rather get nine, I, my bad, nine. I'd rather get, uh, three Five of First Battle Packs than Lego Mario. So, yeah, I'm sorry for all you Lego Mario fans. I just do not care about Nintendo. Don't care about Lego Mario. I, I mean, in the beginning, I honestly was with mario i honestly wanted to buy it i was about to pre-order it from lego.com uh but it went out of stock and um i never got decided to get it so i won't be getting it unless my mind changes by august 1st when it comes out uh because on august 1st i'm going to the lego store for sure uh august 1st as big as it was supposed to be 
Um, it's still going to be pretty big this year. Um, all the, new, the Monkey Kid Wave 2 comes out. Lego Mario comes out. I think they. I heard something about city sets coming out. And then also, um, I went to Target. And okay, so here's an interesting story. So the day I went to go get the Rex Celsior, the Rex Explorer, I keep on saying Rex Celsior because I really want that set. Again, with one of my most expensive sets, that thing's 150 bucks. Um, anyways, so when I went there, they had um, what was it? The Mandalorian Baby Yoda. Um, they had the Mandalorian Baby Yoda brickheads out, and so it was street dated, of course, and so it said. That so on the system it says um item cannot be sold until um until August first. So I asked them, do you have any other Star Wars um any other Lego products at least uh that are street dated for August first? And she said, let me check. She went and took like ten minutes and she came back and she said, uh we do have other stock. Everything will release August first. So. At Target, the Star Wars sets are confirmed, street dated, for August first. So, all hope is not hope is not lost. Um, I lost up hope that um, the Star Wars sets wouldn't come out for August, but they it's going to be like the Avengers sets. They're coming early at Target, um, and yeah, so I can't wait for that um, because. If you guys don't know, my birthday is in August, and I was looking forward to getting the entire Star Wars wave. My What I wanted to get for my birthday was the entire uh, summer Star Wars wave, and that was it. That's all I wanted for my birthday. Um, but because it was canceled, I started wanting other things. And now I'm conflicted because I know that the Lego Star Wars sets are going to come out on time for my parents or my sibling, my siblings. I was going to say siblings. I only have a sister. Um, my grandparents, my uncle, ev everyone who wants to get me something for my birthday. I'm conflict conflicted because I want, I, I decided things I want and now I, I want the Star Wars sets as well. And I can't have both. Because I think the entire Star Wars wave is like 200 or 300 or something like that. And then the things I wanted were like... I wanted the Monkey Kid Ocean HQ, which I probably will still want. I think I'll just get rid of some sets off my list. Some of the Star Wars things I can just get later on. But yeah, I'm conflicted when it comes to that right now. Um, ooh, ooh, what was that? If you guys didn't see that, this thing just flipped over like that. Uh, but, yeah. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, for sure I'll be getting two summer Star Wars sets for my birthday. Um, my mom pre-ordered the Baby Yoda and Mando Brick Heads in April when they were officially able. So, she, uh, pre-ordered me that for my birthday. So, that'll come for my birthday. And then, uh, my grandma... Because my grandma is the best. She, um, there's, okay, so if you guys don't know, there's this website called Zavi. And they have, um, a U.S. and a United Kingdom version. And basically, they have, um, some, they had, uh, some Star Wars sets on pre-order. Well, they only had two. The Baby Yoda and, um, the AT-80, the, uh, 40th Anniversary AT-80. Uh, and so they, because they're a European company and Europe gets it. On August 1st, uh, it said that they, it would, um, they would ship it out on August 1st, and it should come in about two weeks. And my birthday is August 14th, exactly two weeks, um, in August. So, my grandma pre-ordered me the at the 40th anniversary one. She pre-ordered me it, so, yeah, that was really nice of her, so, hopefully that does come in time, if not, I, it's fine, it can, it'll probably come a day late, but now we have a string, I hate putting these strings together, um, I mean, I remember last time I put one of these strings together, 
It was um, what was what set was it? It was the it was the snow speeder, the twenty eighth anniversary snow speeder. Oh, I struggled with that thing so much. I hated it. I hated it. So let's not. Let's see if we can do it here. Uh, how does this even work? I don't know. I don't get how this works. Do you have to like? I don't know how this works. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I don't know how that works. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it at that because I don't know how to, how to put it in. Yeah, because the instructions are so are so limited when it comes to this. So it tells you to put it through here, right? So I can't even. You put it through there. And went through the wrong thing. Ah! Why is this so hard? I just want to build a Lego set. And look, and now it's not even coming out the right way. What's going on? What is actually going on? Okay, there we go. There we go. So, what I'm guessing you have to do is, and then just like suck it all in? I don't know. I feel like an idiot. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I've collected luggage for so long, and I still don't know how to put on these tow cables. Like, I didn't do it for the 20th anniversary snow speeder. I didn't do it for the 2014 snow speeder. What makes me think I can do it now for the fire truck? If this is actually how you do it, this is so such a pain. Because you have to do it one by one. You have to... This is so dumb. How is this designed by like... Now it's... Bro. Bro, 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 bro. Alright, so I'm just going to give up on that. Um, and we're not going to have a complete set. Because Lego designed their... Their cables like a piece of crap. I'm streaming for 33 minutes. Wow. And I struggle for this stupid thing. I'm like, this pisses me off so much. I hate these cables. Whoever designed... Okay, whoever designed these cables and thought that they made any humane sense... I wish I could talk to you right now and show you how much of a struggle it is. Like maybe it's not for adults. But for me it is a struggle for 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 12 year olds. It's a struggle. Oh, I just told you my age. Oh no. Wow, I'm not old enough to use YouTube. Elliot, you have to be 13. I don't care. I'm becoming 13 in August. Be quiet. It's just a year off, okay? Stop bullying me. Stop it. I remember um, how when I started my first channel, which I'm not going to tell you because there's a lot of cringe. A lot of cringe on that channel. It was like 2016, so... I was only uh, eight years old. <laughs> and I remember you had to be like 13 or something. I mean, you still, you, especially now, apparently you have to be 13 uh, to have YouTube videos. But here I am. <laughs> I've been doing this channel for about a year now. And I haven't been stopped 
the police hasn't come to my house because I'm underage to do YouTube videos. Like, what is that? You're underage to do YouTube videos. You're under, like, comparing that to be like, oh, you're underage to make YouTube videos. Oh, you're underage to drink. Oh, you're underage to drive. Oh, you're underage to smoke. You're underage to use guns. Like, how does YouTube have any comparisons to those things? Like, a gun is a serious thing. You have to be responsible if you have a gun. You have to be responsible if you know if you're able to drink alcohol because you can become an addict. You have to be responsible to take drugs. Well, actually, no. If you take drugs, you're just an idiot. <laughs> Sorry, I said it. If anyone takes drugs, <laughs> you're an idiot. You're straight up an idiot. Um, if you smoke, I'm gonna sound like um a teacher now, but if you're a boomer. If you smoke or vape, you destroy your lungs. If you smoke or vape, you destroy the environment. If you take drugs, you in de- you destroy your health and your life, to be honest with you. If you take, um, if you get guns, okay, guns, it depends. If you're getting a gun to be a terrorist or a murderer, you need you need help but if you getting a gun for self defense i guess i don't know i don't know how guns work <laughs> even though i play i constantly play call of duty <laughs> i don't know how guns work says the man <laughs> that's so hypocritical i just said i don't know how guns work Yet I have 900 hours into Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I'm the one who needs help. <laughs> I have I have sat down for nine 900 hours of my life. Calculate how long that is. Black Ops 2 came out 2014. Calculate how long 900 hours is. And I'll accept the fact that I am an absolute addict to that game. Where did the stupid stud shooter go now? Okay. Absolute addict to Call of Duty, Apex Legends, Battlefront 2, you name it, any gun. I even play Fortnite at times. Uh, but yeah. I remember when Fortnite came out. It was so good. Fortnite was so fresh. It was something. It's something never ha- never seen before. A battle royale game where you could build and dance. Like, never heard before. Never heard before. And now every you can't go one day without hearing some, something about Fortnite. Fortnite! Fortnite's so cool! Yeah! Fortnite! Fortnite! Fortnite. I mean, the only reason I play Fortnite nowadays is because um, all my friends have Nintendo Switches, and because of that, and I don't have a Switch, Fortnite is the only game I can play and talk to my friends. <laughs> it's the only reason I play it. And at times, Fortnite can be fun. It's not fun. It's not that fun anymore. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's what I have to talk about here. I don't know if I'm placing these tires right or wrong, I don't care, honestly. But I messed up with this, it's not tangled in correctly. But I don't care, honestly. I, I really don't care. I just want my fire truck for my city. Um, expect a review either tomorrow on this set. Or actually, I'm probably going to film it right after this stream. Um, I'm probably going to film a review right after this stream of this set. And I'll probably double upload today. I've been really motivated to upload recently. I don't know why. Uh, I took my break 
And now I really want to upload. I want to crank out reviews. So, yeah. So, that's the set. Got a couple of extra parts here. Uh, so, here is the truck. Here is the generator. The weird traffic cones. Now, what I saw on the box. Where is the box? Over here. You put these over here. So... You lift this down and you can put them in here, apparently. So, yeah. They fit just in there. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. I mean, yeah, you get the generator, you get the fire, you get the normal, um, firefighter. I really, I think this is my second ever fire Lego set. I think the first one was that poly bag I got a couple of months ago. Um, in April, I think. And, yeah. Um, but I've been looking, I've been looking a lot at the fire sets. Um, if we go back uh, here to the first instruction manual. Um, I've been taking a, I looked at these yesterday when I was at Walmart. I'm looking heavily into the, the fire station because it's only 56 bucks. It looks like a pretty big model for 56 bucks because you get the station, you get a truck, you get a drone, you get a jet ski, you get a little scenario on fire. You get how many? You get four uh, firefighters. Um, you get a dog, a Dalmatian. My bad, but yeah, that is one that's gonna be on a list that I really want. Uh, this set I really want as well um, because I like that helicopter. I'm a sucker for Lego helicopters. I like that fire motorcycle. It's something I've never seen before. I really want to get a big crane. I don't have a big Lego crane. I have a tiny ones. And there's just so much going on there. You have the whole building on fire. Um, and yeah, I, I want to see how much that goes for. I think it's like an $100 set. Um, I'm not exactly sure. And then honestly, this and then here, um, you get too many figures in this set, like I said. Um, this is the chief. What was her name? I forgot. I'm too lazy to go get the box again. This is a pretty nice figure, honestly. That's a new, um, this is turning into a review, but that is a new um, exclusive print for her mug, and a new uh, hair piece, I think, in that color. Or maybe they used it for uh, the lady from the Lego Batman movie. What was her name? The lady that Batman was attracted to. I don't know. But anyways, that is all for this stream. Thank you all for participating here. Uh, it was a short little stream. <laughs> wow. Short 45-minute stream. Um, but yeah, this is my first... Uh, my first big stream, uh, I had that test one that was 46 seconds long, and then I had that 10-minute one yesterday. Um, but yeah, that's it for the stream. I'll see you guys um, later. I don't know. But yeah, we'll look out for maybe a review of this today um, or something else. I'm not sure. But anyways, guys, that was it for today. And I'll see you guys next time, hopefully tomorrow. But yeah, definitely tomorrow because... I'm daily uploading again, so yeah, but anyways, I repeated this like five times, but I'll see you guys next time.